Well, just last year, Indiana had over 2,300 deaths related to drug overdoses, and now a new study is hoping to prevent more of those. Researchers at IU School of Medicine have found that virtual reality can actually help. Our Matthew Foltz is live this morning with a breakdown of how all this works. Sounds like they're using technology in a very positive way, Matthew. Yeah, that's right, Carlos, and it's pretty interesting and kind of thinking outside the box. They're using this virtual reality technology that actually places someone in this virtual world and they come face to face with their future selves. And as we all know, that can be either future, I mean, excuse me, that can either be bad or it can be good. Now, Brandon Oberlin is the assistant professor of psychiatry here at the IU School of Medicine, and he's the one that led this virtual study over the last four years. Now, that study places a person who is in early substance abuse recovery inside a it's virtual like environment with their future selves as avatars, and those avatars are very realistic. So for this past study, they looked at 21 different people who were able to speak and have conversation with their future selves, showing what life would look like either on or off their addictions. Oberlin tells me that 21 people out of 21 people, 18 remained clean and sober for that 30 day period and beyond. And he says most of them were pretty emotional during this experience. Somebody said made me feel like these were things that I didn't know that I could have. Um, and because there's, you know, there's a, a good future and a bad future. And uh, she found that the good future was really encouraging and gave her hope. Other people were more shocked and disturbed by uh, the, the bad future. We had, one person said the bad future wasn't shocking enough. Now, Oberlin says majority of the people that went through that trial, as again, they were pretty emotional and says, when they saw themselves virtually uh, in future and says he's hoping that they can have more trials like this in the coming months as well as years. Next time they hope to have more of a larger group of people take part in this trial. Meanwhile, as far as this happening uh, to the public, he says that could take a while as it still has to be federally approved. However, I will have a link on our website later this morning at WTHR.com with the full study so you can check that out later on. Guys.